Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abom. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Issa Resurgence 2 with Stawa Bucharest. And today we start season eight after what's felt like a long season seven uh, with all the European stuff at the start. But we're going to do things a bit differently this season. We're starting off with the Super Cup. It's a chance to win a trophy. We're against the winners of the Romanian Cup, Kindia. Of course, we retained the title last season. So we're going to another Super Cup game. Let's see if we can get ourselves a trophy. We lost this last time. Hopefully we can do a bit better this time around. We've also got um, a lot of transfer news to get through. There's been a lot of departures from the club uh, and also um, a few players that have come in. Still got a bit of work to do in the transfer window, so we'll go through that as well. And if you're enjoying the videos, do drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support and help the channel. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We're just 20 subs from 1,000 and hopefully we can get there maybe before the end of the month. So at the end of last season, uh, we did manage to win the title for a second year in a row, uh, thanks to a 3-0 win at home against Viterol. It was a really weird end to season. As you can see, we drew four out of the last five games, 0-0, and didn't score in five out of six games. It was a really weird end of season. And then add to that the, the, the calamity that was the Europa Conference League against Red Star, it was just a really weird sort of last month or two. But we had a good showing in the Europa Conference League and we managed to win the league title again. This season, we're back in the Champions League qualifying. I'll show you who we've drawn for that. Uh, and then again, we're going to go through the transfers as well. In fact, we'll do the transfers first. So these five players have left the club at the end of their contract. The only notable uh, departure here is Leon Sipos. Striker that only signed a two-year deal with this. He scored seven goals in the league. Uh, he got 12 in all competitions over the two seasons. I was never really going to break into the first team. He wasn't quite good enough for that. And uh, yeah, we we need we needed a better striker that we could use if something were to happen to Ismail. Sipos wasn't the one, unfortunately. So he's uh, been uh, released. He's a free agent. We'll see if someone picks him up. Renato Krivinovic has also left the club on a free transfer. He's gone to Sepsi. Uh, again, played a few games for us, but never really performed well. Didn't get a goal for us. Played two games for Vitorol 2. And that was it. And four games for Rapendia. Just hasn't managed to get any game time for anyone. So we'll see if Sepsi can um, maybe make use of him. Prestige and Bungu has gone on loan to Kolobara for the season. This side in Serbia. Uh, of course, he didn't really break into the first team again after his leg break. Did manage to get a goal from the bench in one appearance. But yeah, never really managed to break into the first team after his uh, injury in uh, season six, the broken lower leg, keeping him up for six months. And he never really made his way back into the team. And yeah, I thought it was best to try and move him on. Kolobara have picked him up on loan. Radim Vandas has left the club. The Czech left winger has gone to Gilava uh, in the Czech second division. I tried using him in that first season. He played 20 appearances, 12 of which were starts. Got a couple of goals, but didn't really do well enough for me. Uh, went on loan to Kjajna last season. Only managed eight appearances for them. Uh, and yeah, a player that I don't think was really going to be much use to us. We've got 120k for him. But, you know, it's money. I'll take that. It could rise to 175. Timothy Sukar has left the club. The 28-year-old centre-back has gone to al Wada in Saudi Arabia. Was a good defender for us when we started playing in the first division when we first got here. Um, was putting in some good ratings, but then lost his place to... Um, to Chimpianu to Manalake and then Nikolic as well so he became like fourth choice centre back and yeah I thought you know what he's got a year left on his deal let's just try and get some money for him and we got £450,000 for him which is a lot I'm very pleased to get that much for him you know he's probably worth more than that but to get 400 k quite happy with that so those players have left the club we have brought in four players starting with Luca Hren who we got as a pre-contract he was out of contract, uh, the Slovenian white winger at Olympia. Another freebie is a Hungarian forward. This is Balas Nemet, who is also 19. Uh, good finishing, good heading, good technique. So, yeah, the, the, the main technical ones there are pretty good. The first touch isn't as good, but that's all right. He's come from Ferenc Varos, mainly playing in their second team. He's played one game for the senior side. This is Filip Lukic, who is uh, going to be some competition for Ismihil, I think. He's looking like a really good striker. Uh, he's come in on a free. He's Serbian and he's come from Yavor. His contract was running up there. So we've gone in and got him on a pre-contract. And he looks he looks good. His passing is not quite there, but he's a great finisher. He's got good first touch and technique. He's got great work rate. He's good off the ball. So I feel like he could give Ismihil a run for his money this season. And he's the person that I want to trust if Ismihil can't play. Lukic is that player that I want. 
to to come in if we have an injury to Ismail Hill or if Ismail Hill's out of form. I feel like Lukic could be the player to to you know maybe get as many goals as Ismail Hill. Maybe they'll share him out of the season. Who knows? A good piece of news with Lukic is that Serbia recently joined the EU in game, as did Montenegro. So Lukic previously would have been one of our non-EU players, of which we're only allowed four in the squad. Now I don't think we have any. So we can sign basically anyone we want. I've sent scouts to America. It's the first time I've done that this series. I've sent scouts to like South America to see if we can get some like really good youngsters from there that we can use as our non-EU players. I've done the same with West Africa as well. I'm actually trying to scout the world now. And the last player we've got is a right winger called Robert Alexi, who is homegrown. He's 19, he's Romanian, and he has come in from uh, Hermannstadt. £400,000 plus we've sent a player their way, um, a sort of utility player from our youth ranks. We need some young homegrown players because we have to have at least two in our starting 11 in our league matches. And at the, at the moment, we didn't have any. So far, we're okay. We've still got plenty of time in the transfer window. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, Kindia in the Super Cup. Cluj are our first league game. And in the Champions League qualifying, we've got vents bills. So we're off to another new country. We're going to take on the champions of Latvia in the first qualifying round of the Champions League. Never been to Latvia, never faced a Latvian side. And if we manage to defeat vents bills, we'll have a second qualifying round match against Dinamo Zagreb. I don't know that we've faced a Croatian side yet. I don't think we have. So that might be another new country. So in a change from last season, I'm not going to put all these European qualifying games on camera. Once we get to a fourth qualifying round, then I'll start recording those ones just so that we can get through the season a bit quicker because last season felt like it took a long time especially when we were playing all the you know qualifying matches for the Europa Conference League and the Europa League so this time around we're not going to do that we're instead gonna you know skip ahead a bit and uh, after we've done the Super Cup game today I think we'll jump ahead to probably Astra it depends on when the other Champions League games fall in, but we'll try and jump ahead, you know, maybe a month or so. But I think that's everything that we need to go through. So let's have a look at the team that's going to be playing in the Super Cup. I have gone ahead and picked it in advance, but as you can see, there's a couple of players in here that you might not recognise. And they're the players that we have to bring in as those young homegrown players. Because if we look at our previous ones, Vasilescu is now 22 and no longer counts. Chimpianu is 21 and no longer counts. Because you have to be born uh, after the 1st of January 2006 to qualify. So Chimpianu and Vasilescu are now too old. Vera Martin, I think, was at some point, and he's now too old. So we didn't have any senior under-21s that were homegrown. We had to go to our youth team to bring some in. So the two that we've gone for today are Romeo Chuclia, who is a 17-year-old centre-back who spent last season on loan at Petrolol, played 12 games. The other player we've got is Sergio Klapar, who is also 17, and he's a central midfielder, but a bit more defence-minded, and it's something that we might actually need. So he's a ball-winning midfielder, and we haven't really used one of those this season. We went with a box-to-box previously, but that left a lot of gaps and it, it, it meant that Maximovic when we had him wasn't doing too well and with two Metzalas as well they tend to move out wide as well so it really leaves a lot of gaps in midfield so what we're doing now is Klapos going to play today as a ball winner and it might be something to look at in the future is to maybe bring in um, a ball winning midfielder or even like a defensive midfielder um, to become part of that midfield three but this is the team we're going to go with Goran Eris is going to stay in goal um the interest seems to have died down from Levski Sofia, so hopefully he'll be okay and won't be subject to any more bids. Lukovic, Manalake, Chuklea and Zubele are going to be the back four. Martina and Nidale are either side of Klapa, who's making his first appearance. Uh, Dinoza's on the left. Oh yeah, I forgot Negoiscu's back. I forgot to tell you. Claudio Negoiscu spent four seasons with us on loan, starting all the way back in the second division. And he's come back on a permanent deal for £250,000. I don't know why it didn't show that. And he still looks as good as he did when he left us. 16 dribbling, 12 crossing, 12 passing, 16 technique. He's got flair, he's got pace, agility at 18. Yeah, Nagoyski's back. There are actually some more departures as well. Nikolai Shofran's left us. He's gone to Kindia. He might play today. You never know. But Shofran barely played for us last season because Zubile was really good. Chimpianu was actually a better right back than Shofran was. So yeah, he's left. £210,000. We've got a bit of profit on him. So let's send the team out and let's see if we can get something in this game. Nogoski's going to have number 7. Lukic can have number 11. Shofran is playing against us, so he's starting for them. Let's see if we can get a trophy here. We, we lost this last season. 
So let's see if we can do better this time round. We're playing in the yellow and we do have a throw here. And here is Negroescu. It's a return to the club for Claudio Negroescu. Let's see if he can maybe do something. He has been good for us in the past. Let's see if he can keep it up. Ismail loses the ball to Armash. Juclea wins the ball in the air. And it's Takach. Whose name I don't think I've said right this whole series. Petrila. Zubala. He manages to beat Zubala, but he also beats the goalpost as well. Free kick here for us with Ismail. And it's going to be... Oh, it's a bit of a mistake there by the Kindia defence. Manalake has po pou pounced. Not posed, he's pounced. It's 1-0 on half an hour. I don't know what happened to the Kindia defence there. They were all over the place on that free kick. Let's see this again. So Ismihil with the, with the free kick. M Martina won the header. It went over everyone. And Manalake was just there to just guide it home. I mean, he's on sides. Martina won the header. And... The Kindy the defence just fell asleep. Urban with the throw. Here's David. Good block by I think that might have been Chiclea. No, it's Zubale. Can he do it again? He can. Zubale's holding his own there. And the cross is finally away to catch with the header. But it's over. Okay, half time. We lead 1-0 thanks to a bit of a defensive lapse by the uh, Kindia side. And uh, we look good. We've got lots of possession. Kindia with a couple of early opportunities, which weren't huge chances, but they definitely uh, posed a threat. So I'm going to guard against complacency going into the second half. Let's see if we can hold on to the lead, maybe extend it and try and get ourselves a Super Cup trophy after falling short last season. There's a clearance by Bakar and here is the catch. He's got a few yellow players to try and beat here, but there is another player coming forward. Manalake going for the tackle, doesn't win it. And Lukovic goes in there. No penalty given, no foul. And now can we break? It's Martina, goes back to Lukovic. His eggs on Denosa, who I'm not sure will play as much this season if we can bring in a new winger. And here's Negoiscu, who is one of our new new wide attackers. A new winger. Ismihil seems to have pulled up here. Oh dear. Uh yeah, Ismihil's out. He's injured. So Lukic is gonna make his first appearance here. He's gonna make his debut. And hopefully it's going to be a good debut because that might be a nasty one for Ismail. It's a, it's a foot injury. I saw him pull up. I saw it happen. That's not good news, but hopefully Lukic can have a good sort of half hour or so here. We're looking good. You know, Kindia haven't really threatened. In the last 10 minutes here, we're going to make a couple of changes, I think, to, to ke keep things fresh. So Morong is going to come into the midfield. And Denosa is going to come on for Mikkelsen. Um, Nezovic not in the team, but he is still here. Um, I did try and offer him out, but um, he got really upset about it and thought I was forcing him out of the club. He's got a year left on his deal and I don't want to lose him for free. But I don't want to sign him on a new deal either because he's not going to be good enough. If we sign him for a three-year contract, he's going to be like 32. So I'm in a bit of a predicament now with, ne with Nezovic is that you know he feels like he's being forced out. He kind of is because I don't want him to go for nothing. I'd like to try and get some money for him. But maybe January could be the time to do that. It might not be as much as I'd like, but hopefully we'll get some money for him. We're in the stoppage time in this game. Hasn't been a great one, but we have won 1-0 thanks to the uh, Manalake goal. And we have won the Super Cup. It wasn't an exciting match. I mean, there haven't been a lot of those recently on the channel. <laughs> We've had a lot of nil-nils. But we have managed to win the Super Cup. It's another trophy. It's our fourth trophy. Because I don't know that we won titles in Divisions 2 and 3. I can't remember. But Manalake, who scored the winning goal, is going to lift the trophy here. And we have uh, we have ourselves a Super Cup. 1-0 against Kindia. I mean, they kind of beat themselves there. They were all over the place from that set piece. Uh, allowing Manalake to go through and score. Klapar actually had a great game. You know, we didn't see a great deal of highlights. But Klapar's rating was like a 7.3. He had a good first game. Going forward, like... I would have liked a few more chances. I mean, our XG was 1.75. You know, we maybe could have got a second goal. But at the end of the day, we've managed to win 1-0. We've won the Super Cup. It's another trophy to add to the cabinet. And yeah, we, we, we played well without really scoring too many goals. Ismi Hill's out for four to five weeks with a twisted ankle. So he's probably going to miss all of the qualification stuff um, in Europe. He's probably going to miss all of that. That's not good. But Klapar had a great debut. It's actually our sixth trophy because we did win um, Series 4 of uh, the third division. We won the second division and won the playoff games. And then we won the league and the cup double, of course. And then we won the league last season. And now we've won the Super Cup. Where are we in our club right now? Are we a club legend or an icon or what? Uh, we're a club legend. 
Oh, wow. We're in season eight and we're a club legend. We're, we're in the mark of the ranks of Jovan, Stoikar, Lassatut, and Jenai. Uh, what about icons? Have we got anyone here that I recognize? Ismail and Greyab are club icons. And players that we had right at the start of the series, Wallace and Razdan, are favored personnel as well. But it's a winning start to season eight and it's a trophy under our belt as well. Uh, Romanian Super Cup is in the cabinet now. So we've got both legs of the Vent Spills qualifying game, either side of our first league game against Cluj. Uh, but we are going to jump ahead probably about a month or so uh, to, I think, either Gaz or Astra. I'm not sure when the second qualifying round will be for Champions League. It might be sort of um, in between the Petrolol and Gaz games because there's like a big break there. So it may well be in there. But I think we'll come back for Astra. Um, but maybe Gaz, I'm not quite sure. One of those two, definitely. We're not going to focus too much on qualifying um, for the European stuff this season. I think once we get to a point where we can make a competition proper, like when we get to a playoff round, we'll definitely do that on camera because there's our chance to get into a group stage. But before that, I think we'll do the first three qualifiers off camera. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, do drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support and help the channel. And if you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We've won ourselves a Super Cup today. Hopefully it's the first of multiple trophies this season. We'll go for a third league title in a row. We'll see how the cup goes this season. We lost in the quarterfinals to Kindia last season, who we've just beaten in that Super Cup. So a little bit of revenge there. We'll try and give a good account of ourselves in Europe. Try and get to a group stage of some sort and take things from there. But I'll see you next for either Gaz or Astra. Again, depends on when the next Champions League game will be. And if it's going to be a Champions League game, if we lose, we might drop to the Conference League. Who knows? But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.